Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronix with it, another tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you guys how to easily soften skin in Photoshop. So this is not a more like a professional kind of skin retouching technique but it is more of a quick fixer but you have to retain uh, the skin details in an image. So let's, let me show you guys what we mean by skin softening and for this process we are going to be using frequency separation basically what is frequency separation for those that don't know it it is a skin retouching technique that divides the image into two it enables us get the textures and work on them separately and also enables us get the colors uh, so that we can work on them separately so that when we combine both we can have a retouched and nice image that is good to look at so let's kick in and we start creating those two layers but so select the background layer so you have to always make sure to have removed the blemishes uh, before you can apply any skin softening process and after you have removed the blemishes you can match those layers by hitting shift command e or shift ctrl e and come to the background layer hit ctrl or command j twice and you're going to name this skin softening and you're going to name these uh, textures just like that and after doing so we are going to now select the texture layer and first of all uh, desaturate it by hitting shift command u to desaturate that layer and after it has been desaturated come and uh, deactivate it or hide it by hitting on this visibility icon and come and select the skin softening layer so when you come and select the skin uh, softening layer you have to right click on it and first of all convert it into a smart object the reason for doing this is because we want to be able to change these values after we have applied the skin softening process remember a smart object enables us work on a given layer non-destructively so that we can change the values later on after applying them in the image so first of all when we are done doing so we are going to simply come to blur and we are going to come to uh, rather filter blur and come to surface blur so when you come to surface blur always and always make sure that you turn the radius all the way up rather this threshold all the way up and when you do so the image is going to look a little bit blurry but don't mind about that so when it has made it blurry come and start moving uh, your radius up to a point when the skin tones are just trying to really look nice and even so i think at around 22 we are good to go so after you have done moving uh, your radius or after you're done remo moving the radius towards that point when the skin tones are trying to blend evenly come to the threshold and start moving it down gradually so just move it gradually just like that so just move it slowly as you're looking at the image up to a point when you're starting uh, to look at the details that are returning into the image so i think we're going to go with around 37 because right now we're getting back the details into the image so don't mind about these values because we can change them later on since we have a smart object that we are working with and now come and hit ok and after hitting ok come and select the texture layer and activate it change the blending mode from normal to overlay so the reason for changing this blending mode to overlay is because we want to brighten the bright areas in the image and darken the dark areas in the image and after doing so you're going to come to filter and you're going to come to other and come to high pass so when you come to high pass what you're going to be doing start moving this radius up to a point when you're getting back the textures in the skin in uh, this image so just move it up to that very point and you'll get back the textures that you want to retain in this particular image i think uh, at around 5.6 uh, 5.6 we are good to go and now come and hit ok so we are going to put these two in a group by selecting both 
and hitting Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard. So just want to blend in these settings so that they can really have that nice transition. And in order to do that, simply right click under the group and come to the blending options. And what we have to do right now, we want to have nice results. So come to the underlying layer. And first of all, move this was the right hand side, just uh, a little bit. Up to a point when you're starting to get back fine details, all the details in the image as they were meant to be before. So just move this even more. I think that looks fine. So hold down the alternate key and split this. So move this towards the left hand side, just like that. And you can as well move this towards the right hand side if at all you wish to. So I think that looks okay. And now come and do the same while holding down the alternate and just move this towards uh, uh, the left hand side or towards the shadow area. So after doing so, you can come and hit OK. And after hitting OK, now we want the effect to only be applied on the skin of the model. So simply come and hold down the alternate key and click on this layer mask icon to hide that effect. Remember, the effect has been hidden uh, behind the black mask. Remember, black hides in Photoshop and white reviews. So come under the brushes, simply right click and get your soft round brush. Opacity and the flow at 100, smoothing at zero and make sure it is a white brush. So make sure you have white on top and come and start painting on the skin area. So you only have to paint over the skin area and you have to keep away from the edges and maybe the hair and eyebrows of the model or the image you're trying to retouch. So just come and paint in those values or that effect that we have been able to achieve so far. So don't mind if at all you're not getting the right results from this very step. So just paint them in and remember we have a smart object that we are going to be dealing with uh, further on in this tutorial. So just come and paint those in. So I'm just going to use the brush and I'm reducing or increasing on the size of the brush by using at the brackets on the keyboard. So just come and paint just like that. So just paint only and only on the skin that you want to be affected. So I can come and paint over the hands and come and do the same for the neck area of uh, the model just like that. So don't mind, the skin may really be looking bad uh, because you're going to be handling that uh, in a bit. So after you feel like uh, you have uh, done a very nice job trying to paint in the effect, you can simply come back and open this group and now come to the skin softening and you can uh, click on uh, the surface blur option. So right now you can come and start playing around with these values up to when you feel like you have nice results. So I'm just going to move the threshold further up to a point when I feel like I'm having the best results. So this is the advantage of using a smart object. So just come and move the radius even more up to that point when you feel like uh, the skin really looks nice and amazing. So just come and hit OK. And it's going to apply those effects to the skin area. So you can come back and close the group and continue with the painting pros process rather. Just come and paint in just like that to have nice details. So only paint over the skin. And you can as well keep away from the edges of the image. So I think uh, this uh, is a really decent job. So let's see the before and after for this image. So you can take your time while try, trying to paint in. So you can see the before and after, before, after, before, after. So basically, this is how to soften skin in Photoshop using frequency separation. And if at all you have loved this, this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, 
Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.